Hello and welcome to another Beehive growth tutorial. In this video, I'm going to cover how to start distributing your content through Google News using Google's, Google's Publishing Center, Publisher Center. As you can see from this screen, this is Google News. It's a news aggregator that serves millions of users news across a bunch of different categories, whether it's business, technology, entertainment, sports, and, and way more. Google News pulls from these various publications like Wired or Engadget or Mac Rumors, these very kind of high quality publications that supply news. And you can see even for a specific story, they can pull in stories from a bunch of different sources. And so the goal after this video is to get your Beehive publication set up with Google Publisher Center so that your publication can be qualified to be pulled into this feed and you can gain subscribers via Google News. Now, this is going to work best for daily publishers that are focused in the news and journalistic space. If you're a weekly that is more editorial, very low chance that you're going to get picked up on Google News. But if you are a daily about the topic of space or something like that, this could be a good chance for you to get in front of new readers. Just a quick link, walk around Google News and what we're going to be setting up. If we look at these different links, if I click, this is going to take me to the website CNET that we clicked on for the story. If I go through this, I have a couple different options. If I click this, it's going to should take me to their Google News profile. Yep, this is going to take us to their feed. And so we will see how to set up this profile with the label and the different sections here. If we go back to go back just a beat, if we click this full coverage button, this is going to be showing you a, a greater breadth of stories related to a central news story. And this is where we're going to hope to get either Twitter profiles and or different news or articles in this section. So without further ado, the way that we get this set up is you're going to go to publisher.google.com. I'll drop the link in the video notes below. And on the home screen, you won't see this quite yet. You're going to have the ability to enter a URL for your publication. You can simply enter the URL if you're on a custom domain for your own website or the Beehive domain name if you're using one of ours. The next step will be then to verify that you own that account and they use Google uses Google Search Console to do that. So you're going to have to claim your profile with Google Search Console, if, which if you haven't already, it's a best practice. We definitely advise you to do that for the SEO monitoring benefits. But in order to claim your profile, if you're not on a custom domain, you will need to, that is to say, if you're on a Beehive hosted domain, you'll have to add a tool like Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics in your Beehive settings. And then that will allow you to verify your account with Google Search Console, which will allow you to verify your account with Publisher Center. Now, once you have verified the account, you'll see a screen that looks like this. You'll have your organization. This can be the name of your company or whatnot. And then you'll have the actual publication itself. Now, if I go into the publication settings, you can come in here and you can set the name, the language, the location that you serve, the URL, any additional property, website properties. If you have like the blog site, you know, if you have your newsletter and blog through Beehive, but you have another main website, you can add the main website um, here, your contact information, and then visual styles. You can add a logo, you can add rectangular logo and for light and dark theme. You can also upload custom fonts. You can also then come through and update your organization settings and any user permissions here. So once you've gone through that process, the next step is going to be to add your content labels. So if you just have site-wide content, content labels, you can do them here. So if you do opinion, blog, maybe you don't do press releases, your content isn't user generated and you're not doing satire, you would just leave these unchecked. But if you do qualify for any of these, certainly check what qualifies. If part of your site is editorial content, so if you do editorial plus news, you can actually define using category tags, which are you can deploy through Beehive using content tags. If you tag your content with a content tag and then turn on categories, you can actually have a specific subsite, sub part of your website for that specific content. You can enter that here and set the labels for that. Say, for example, press releases, satire, and editorial pieces were each different content tags. You could set the content labels by the URL based on that category. So moving on, if we go to the specific 
if we explore this product for the specific publication that we're looking at, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to click edit, and this is going to lead us through a flow where we can modify and set the different things. So this is for the turn, my test publication about golf. So we're going to click sports as the category distributed to country, com countries worldwide, and we're going to allow it on all properties. The options here, if you do select specific properties, are going to be video news on assistant or text-to-speech news on assistant. We're just going to allow it to be all properties so it gets widest distribution. Now, for sections, you'll recall from the beginning of the video, we looked at the that one publication's profile on Google News. This is going to be where you set that up. What we can do is we can pull in a website location that's going to have the articles that you want to show up. So say we want to have a content tag that has specific content around a hardware technology versus software versus Internet of Things. If we have the content tag set for hardware, we could do beehive dot, you know, website.beehive.com slash C slash hardware. And that would be the section, that would be the URL. And we could call that section title hardware. And now our profile on Google News is going to have a hardware subsection. If you just want to have all content, you can use your Beehive RSS feed and just say archive or all articles. If you have video content on YouTube, you can enter the YouTube article there. And then this would just be a personalized section that would be based on Google's readers' interests. You can add access groups. So if you want to specifically only allow specific users to view that profile, you can do that. Don't necessarily recommend that. And then once you've set all of those, you can go to the publishing settings. So this is where you're going to want to go in order to publish your publication to Google News and start getting picked up potentially by Google News readers. I can't do that because I haven't filled all this stuff out. But once you do go through this process, if I switch to Beehive, for example, we have our blog going there, you'll see that this is our profile, how it appears, at least on mobile. This is what our profile is going to look like on Google News. And there you have it. That's how you start distributing your content through Google News. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. Can't wait to see what you build. Best of luck.